ladies and gentlemen, here is your recap of the 3D form practice. You're going to practice drawing some three-dimensional forms using Google Slides. Here is that worksheet that walks you through some of the steps. Of course, attached to your assignment, you also have the Google Slides fact sheet. I'm going to go ahead and draw on my screen here so that I can um, show you some of the things that we've gone over. You've got your um, shape tool, which is right here, that circle in the square. Right next to it, you have that little barbell that is your line tool. Now, as we get to drawing some things, you're going to see this thing right here, your bucket tool. That's going to fill in your um, shapes to whatever color you want. You also have a pencil, which is going to change the color of the outlines. Up in that toolbar next to these items right here will be a three line tool. That's where you change the size of the lines. And then, of course, you have your Arrange menu. Let me get rid of this stuff here. Arrange menu, you're going to use Order to move things forward and back. You're also going to use Group to group things together so that your shapes don't come apart. And then you also have the Format option, Drop Shadow. All right, now I know in your assignment I left you some examples, so please make sure that you either delete those or you can do your work on that same page if you choose to. But just to show you how to do the cube, I'm going to go all the way up here, choose my shapes. I'm going to start out with a square. And of course, gray is okay, but let's make it a cool color. I'm going to use the pencil to change the outline and of course the um, thickness of the outline with those three bars. Now, yesterday we said we needed to make a second one of these squares. There's two ways to do this. You can come all the way up here to edit, you could copy and paste, or you can use that keyboard sh shortcut, Control D, and that will duplicate that exact shape so you don't have to remake it. Now I need to connect my corners with a um, line. So I'm going to go all the way up the top here to that little barbell where it says line right there up in the upper toolbar. And I'm going to connect each corner with a straight line. So I'm going to draw my first straight line. And of course, I'm going to change the color and the thickness of it so you can see it. I need two more lines. So I'm going to use that control D two times to make that exact same line. Now remember, Google Slides has that little snap to feature. So once you get those red crosshairs that come up, you can go ahead and release it and it will be in the perfect spot you want it in. Now you can go ahead and use the arrow, the select tool to select around it and group it so that now you can move your shape around without it coming apart. During class, we also talked about making our um, cube solid. If you would like to make it look a little more solid, then think about filling in those areas by using some shapes. So I'm going to use this triangle here. I'm going to make it the same color, but I'm going to change the outline to transparent. And now I can go ahead and move my triangle around to fit in where it needs to fit here on this square. So I'm going to do the best I can to match it up and align it. Oh, that was my timer from my other class. Apologies. Of course, Mrs. Swistak is a perfectionist and does want to try and get it as perfect as possible. In there, get over there. There we go. I think I got it there. Yeah, I do. But now it's blocking that line there. So what I want to do is make that triangle. I want to select it. I'm going to go up to the top where it says range, order, and send to back. And now it is behind my cube and it is filling in that spot. Of course, I can control D that exact same shape so that I can copy it and put it right up into that other spot and get it lined up in position. Maybe make it a little smaller. It's just me being perfect. That's just how I roll. Oops, it just doesn't want to get perfectly lined up. There we go. 
get it up a little closer. And then of course, I'm gonna do that same thing that I did before. Make sure it's selected, arrange, order, send them back, and there it is filled in. And now, of course, I want to use my arrow again to go ahead and arrange and group so that those pieces become part of my cube. Now, some folks had said yesterday, well, Mrs. Swistek, how can we make it look solid by getting rid of those um, lines? Use your line tool. Create yourself a line a better line. If you want a nice straight line while you're creating your line, oops, go ahead and hit that shift key. You'll say you'll um, stay nice and straight. I'm going to make it a nice chunky line and I'm going to make it the same color as my cube. And then I can go ahead and pop it over that line there so that it kind of erases it away. All right. So now I have that as part of my cube. And once again, same thing, make sure if you're doing that, you select it, arrange, and group it so it makes it part of your cube. All right, and you can do the same thing for the top line if you want to, but I do want to get into showing you how to do the other shapes before I take too much time. So here we go with cylinder. I'm gonna use the circle, make it an oval, control D to duplicate it. I'm gonna move it up and out of the way. And then I can go ahead and use that line tool. Once again, hit shift so that it stays nice and straight. Make that second line. And then you can just bring that top right down on top. If you don't want it transparent, just use the shape to fill it in. All right, now I need to make sure my outline of my square is transparent. And I'm going to arrange, order, send to back. And now it is filled in. But you might say, Mrs. Swistak, I still see the bottom inside of the cylinder. Well, here, check this out. Click on that bottom, arrange, order, and send it to back. And now you have your three-dimensional cylinder. Again, don't forget, select with your arrow and group so that it stays together and doesn't come apart. We also have our 3D hexagon, which is similar to doing the cube. If you come to your shapes, you're going to see your hexagon shape right there. I'm going to control D to make that second one. It'll looking like Darth Vader's spaceship. And then I can go ahead and use my line tool to connect my corners and control D once, control D twice. Control D three times because we need to connect it with some lines here. We need three lines. Don't forget that snap to function. And if you want to fill it in, you can go ahead and be creative. But before you do that, make sure you group it together so that it doesn't move around. And of course, if you wanted to take a triangle shape like we did with the cubes, and fill in those areas or some lines to fill it in to make it look solid like I did, well, then you can do that as well. And then the last one is the pyramid. I did show you two ways to do this. I'm gonna show you how to use a triangle to do this, actually two triangles. And then of course I need to use my line tool to connect two of the sides together So there goes my line, there goes control D to make my second one. All right, now that makes that 3D pyramid. Do wanna show you a little bit of a trick on how to do this so that you can make it look solid right away. So once again, don't forget if you're doing it like this, use that select and group it together so that it stays together. But I'm gonna show you another way to do it. I'm going to delete my triangle and my two lines, and I'm going to go over here to the shapes. I'm going to pick this kind of trapezoid here. Now check this out. Let me just move my shapes around, excuse me. All right, so now if I take my trapezoid and I tilt it so the bottom angles up, I can totally put it next to my triangle there and there it makes my 3D pyramid by using just 
two shapes. Just want to make sure it's the right size so it looks good. And then, of course, you're going to select around it and hit Arrange and Group so that your two pieces stay together. So there are two ways that you can use um, triangles and a trapezoid or just triangles and some lines to create this pyramid. Hope this helps those of you. If I went too fast, don't forget to create your own shapes. You got to do all four. When you're all done, hit Submit. Have a great day.